everyone, it's Kelly from Soy and Shane. Thank you for joining me. So last week we made mermaid splashes and I mentioned that I've had a few requests and suggestions to do themed soaps and of course the other theme was unicorns. So this week we're going to be doing unicorn dreaming. So I have my lye water solution and my oils in my jug here and before I get started, first thing I'm going to do is pop a little bit of water dispersible titanium dioxide into my lye water here. I want the base of my soap to be white and I also want the colours that I'm using to be a little bit paler. So we'll just start off with the white in the mix to start with. I also want it to have a glittery effect throughout the whole soap. So into my oils I am adding some blizzard mica. I'm going to then pour my lye water solution down my stick blender just to stop any splash back stir it up and then we'll pop it out for some colors and add our fragrance I am stirred up to a very light emulsion. I'm just going to pour out into my jugs. I have some Wellington mica in this one. I then have some of aquamarine mica. So we're going to pour about the same amount out in that jug. In this one I have some, let's just have a quick look there. We have magic violet in this one. And in my last jug here, I have some bubblegum mica and all of these are from my mica obsession. I'm going to give these a mix up and I'm only going to pour fragrance oil into my main jug. Okay, so I'm just adding that fragrance oil into the white. I've added it all in there because we're going to do an in the pot swirl, but not quite a swirl. I'm hoping this is going to work. I want kind of a rainbow effect to go in here. I'm just going to pour most of, in fact, we'll pour all of the purple in and I will just leave that little bit because we'll scrape the jugs out later. I'm going to pour my green in next to it here and pour all of that one in. I actually might go with the pink next so that that um, aquamarine doesn't blend in with the yellow and go all muddy. So we'll pour all that pink in. Then I'm going to pour my yellow. I'm hoping that this is going to make something really nice. I've not seen anyone do a pour straight along the middle there. I'm hoping it's going to give a really nice swirly rainbow sort of look. So if someone else has already done this, um, I'd love to be told so I can see how theirs turned out. What I'm going to do is just start to simply pour from this one end and I'm going to let the soap move the colors for me. In fact, I may just come down a little bit because I can see that the um, color, mainly or most of the colors are staying down this one end. But I'm just going to keep pouring. I can see that they're moving. That yellow is coming now, so I'm just going to go back down the middle. This is staying nice and fluid, so I know that this mix is a good one. And those colors are looking really good, very unicornish. All right, so I'm going to get these containers scraped down and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to do some piping on the top. Thank you. 
So I am so tempted to leave this as it is, but I do have a vision for it and I do have the oils and the live water all set and ready to go. So I'm gonna pop this to one side. I'm going to go and prepare the icing for this soap and we'll come back and finish in just a moment. Okay, so we are all set and ready to go. I have a simple open round tip here because I want to make it look like clouds on the top of here for my unicorn dreaming. Now, as I said before, it's taken me a very long time to find the perfect fragrance oil for this soap. And there's a couple of reasons why. So last week we did the mermaid soap and I'm okay with mermaids. I don't know why. I know they're another just a mythical creature, but I'm okay with them. I don't, sorry, get unicorns. So please don't hate me for that. But I've just never kind of understood the whole unicorn thing and as such it's just not something that I've then been inspired to do but I've you know I do what people ask for me to actually do and everyone's wanting me to make this unicorn one so many people said you know do unicorn in bubble gum but I figured if I'm going to do something that I'm not you know, too sure I'm doing anyway. I'm actually going to do it in a fragrance that I really like. I've been looking for a fragrance that I imagined would be magical. I wanted something with that sort of everescent, bubbly sort of smell, that sort of smell that when you smell it, it feels like this bubbles going up your nose. But I also wanted it as a white soap and I found that every single fragrance that had that sort of bubbly smell had lots of aniline in it and that was just not going to play well with having a white soap. My supplier opened up a showroom a couple of weeks ago here in Brisbane, so I was actually able to go along to the showroom and have a smell of all the fragrance oils instead of actually just keep buying them and discovering that they're not what I'm looking for. So I was able to go along and I managed to find that perfect fragrance oil. I did have a laugh with one of the guys in the warehouse when I said what I was doing and he said to me, well, don't unicorns just smell of wet horses? Which kind of really appealed to my sense of humour when it came to the whole unicorn thing. But I think this fragrance oil kind of really matches in perfectly. It's got mint, it's got lemon, it's got watermelon, it's got strawberry. I've blended in another um, fragrance oil into it as well, just to give it that real fruity sort of hit, along with all that bubbly smell. So now I'm actually making the soap. I am really enjoying it. But as I said, I'm more probably favouring the mermaids. If you do follow along with me on either Facebook or Instagram, I did run a poll on both of them and the results were quite surprising. So I asked it on both. On Facebook, my customers all came back or all my followers came back saying that they liked unicorns and it was probably about a 70% unicorns, 30% mermaids and when I asked the exact same question on my Instagram account it was the opposite way around 75% of people said that they preferred to um, unic uh, preferred mer mermaids yes that way around they preferred mermaids on um, Instagram so I was actually quite surprised that yeah on the two different platforms there were two very different sort of answers right so I'm just going to top all of these up. My aim is to get them to look a little bit like clouds. In my piping I have put titanium dioxide and some blizzard mica so it continues that shine all the way through um, and I think that is looking pretty good. Alright so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to spritz the top with some blizzard mica so that my little clouds look nice and shiny and glittery. So I'm actually going to spray on a fair bit of this one here and I can see all this mica dust going everywhere. It's quite funny, I've got a screen on my back window which is just above the camera here and in the summer or actually usually just in the afternoons as that sun starts setting 
all of my fly screen actually glistens because it's just got mica and glitter and all sorts over it. It's really quite pretty, but yeah, you can tell there's definitely a lot of glitter spraying going on in this shed. All right, so we've got our Blizzard mica on that one. I'm also going to just spritz a little bit of glitter to give that extra bit of shine. And I have Rainbow Dreams from my Micro Obsession. And we have that in one of the glitter spray pumps from Nurture Soap. This particular glitter has iridescent green and pink through it. And I just think that is absolutely perfect for unicorns. I am going over the top with the spray because, hey, it's unicorns and it should be nice and glittery. Now, I also have sprinkles to go on this one. I've had to create my own little brand of sprinkles. Again, there has been huge dramas with getting the sprinkles. The original ones I ordered when I got them, they just were not what I ordered at all. I was very unhappy. So I went ahead and ordered from another company and I ended up getting two different sprinkles and blending them together to get exactly what I want. When I've picked my sprinkles, I've made sure that the balls that are in them are sugar pearls, not chocolate pearls, because I don't want the chocolate to melt. We are heading into our summer months, so I was just a little bit concerned that that might not be too good on the top of soaps here. This is looking like a perfect mix to me. So I'm going to keep just sprinkle a little bit more. And then I have some unicorn embeds to go on the top. So we will grab the unicorns and I have them here. So I have made them with the Stevenson's No Sweat Melt and Pour. The white base has got some of the Blizzard Mica in so they actually do shine in real life. And the way I've coloured them, I've done them the exact same way as I did the Mermaid Tails in the previous video. So I'll leave a link for you to be able to go and have a look there. And what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to put a unicorn on the side of each soap. And I think, yep, we'll go from this end. And I'm just making sure, as usual, I am between the lines. And I'm just going to push them into each of these clouds that they look like they're coming out. And I'm going to make sure that they're pushed far enough in this time so that they don't pop out on me. When I did my pineapple soap and all the pineapples fell out, I realized when I was doing the playback of the video for editing, that because of the way I'd actually sat the soap onto the multi-bar cutter, the, as I pushed down, it pushed the soap forward and pushed all the pineapple pieces out of the actual soap. So this time round, when I put this on, I'll make sure that the unicorns don't get pushed out because I think they may be a little bit wide for the soap cutter. Either that or we'll use the single bar one. So I'm just going to keep popping these unicorns in until I get to the end. If you are a soap maker and you do struggle to get your embeds lined up um, perfectly for your multi-bar cutter, even though you've got your lines on your soap, the best way I found, because I used to struggle with this when I first started, the best thing I found was to make sure that you are standing so that you are facing your moulds, so that you are in front of those lines and you're not looking over the top. And this was a trick I was shown when I used to do quilting. I was told to always sit at the machine the same way because even if you moved just slightly, because your line of sight has then actually changed, you go from doing, say, a quarter inch seam to maybe five sixteenths of an inch seam. So just that little bit bigger, but it can throw off a whole quilt design by the end of the quilt. And I, so I was always told to look front on and make sure that you always use that same position and then you'll always have your seams just right. And I've found that to be the same with placing embeds into the soap mold to always look straight in between those lines. And then your embeds will usually, if you're not chatting too much, <laughs> will actually fall in place and then it will go through that multi-bar cutter. But having said that, you watch. Tomorrow when we cut this soap, they'll be misaligned knowing my luck. 
but it usually it actually does work for me and that's why I move my mold around so much when I'm making just going to sit these up make sure that they are stuck in properly that is all looking really good there I'm going to pop in just a couple more of these sprinkles because they do look really pretty and all that glitter and iridescent sparkle on here is just stunning I'm just going to finish this off and then I'll bring you down for a closer look Okay, so here is Unicorn Dreaming. You can see all that pretty sparkle from the glitter and the blizzard mica. And those sprinkle pieces, they are just perfect. They match the colors of the mica and the unicorns just perfectly. We are going to come back in about 18 to 24 hours and I'm going to cut this up. And we're going to see what swirl we got from having done that in the pot blend the way I did. Okay, so we are now back to cut the Unicorn Dream Soap. It is smelling really, really good. I think this blend is just absolutely perfect here. What I'm going to do here is actually turn this one onto its side this way. And I'm really looking forward to getting this one cut open. Now what I'm going to do is, because of the way my embeds went into here, this end should actually produce my little 5ml... Um, sample piece of soap so I am going to line it up so it's about five mil in and push it down just a little bit so we don't catch that unicorn I've also laid it on its side so that the sprinkles don't get in the way or drag through the soap so now we're going to go down so I did mention that I had asked whether on um, Instagram and Facebook whether people preferred unicorns or mermaids and I've got two very different results on each of those platforms so I'm going to leave a poll up in the top right corner and you can let me know whether you prefer unicorns or mermaids let's see what we've got inside this one here well the end's not looking too um, too fancy but the behind of it looks really good so that is the front of this one and that is the color that we got at the back of this soap so as we get down these bars that color should really look good on that swirl I am so pleased with how this one has actually turned out I will probably use that soap pouring technique a few more times as well the colors have just swirled so beautifully and they match in with those sprinkles just perfectly. I have got a couple of little glycerin rivers in this one as well, but I do think that really adds to the whole effect there. It is so pretty and sparkly and glittery, and it really does smell well. So hopefully over the next four weeks that fragrance will really hold, and I'm pretty sure it's going to because of how strong it is right now. So I hope you have enjoyed watching me make my Unicorn Dream Soap. If you have, please leave me a thumbs up and any comments down below. I will get back to you if you do have any questions. If you haven't already, why not subscribe to the channel and hit the little bell sign to let you know the next time I do bring a soap making or a bath and body video. I bring one every week for you. So thank you very much for watching and until next week, have a great one. Bye.